Hi guys, in this video I'll be talking about the role of the kidney, excretion, removal of urea and finally a summary. The kidneys form part of the urinary system. They take waste products out of the blood and excrete this as urine. They also help regulate water and salt content. This means they can help control blood water levels. And they do this by controlling how much is reabsorbed and how much water is lost in urine. So how do they produce this urine? Well, they produce it by first filtering out small molecules. This includes water, glucose and salts. These molecules are filtered out from the blood into tubes inside the kidney. You can see that there's water and glucose in this blood. This is taken up into tubes in the kidney. And this is what the kidney looks like. This process of removing small molecules from the blood is known as filtration or ultrafiltration. After this, useful substances are then reabsorbed back into the blood. So they leave the blood to enter the kidneys through ultrafiltration and they're reabsorbed back into the blood. The things that are reabsorbed into the blood include all the glucose, the right amount of ions and the right amount of water. The amount of ions and water reabsorbed depends on the body's needs. For example, if you exercise or it's hot and you become sweaty and lose water, you might want to reabsorb more water to counterback this. This process of absorbing water and ions is called selective reabsorption. So we talked about how useful substances are selectively reabsorbed back into the blood. The substances remaining in the tubules of the kidney are excreted from the body in urine, and this is because they're unwanted. This includes some ions, urea and water. These are excreted out of your body as urine. So we talked about things excreted are excess ions, water and urea. Urea is a toxic waste product. It's produced in the liver and from the breakdown of excess amino acids. This is a chain of amino acids or protein. This protein is then broken down in the liver and it's broken down into the amino acids that make the protein. As a result, urea is formed. And as it's toxic, your body wants to get rid of it. This urea is found in the urine that trickles into the bladder via the ureter. In this diagram, we can see the kidneys, we can see the bladder, and we can see these tubes of the ureter. This blood vessel here is the renal vein, and this blood vessel here is a renal artery. Urine moves from a kidneys down through the ureter, down through your bladder and out of your body. And the urine is stored in the bladder until you urinate. The removal of waste products such as urine is called excretion. And urine leaves a body through the urethra. And this is this structure here. So now let's talk about the removal of urea. Proteins from the diet are broken down into amino acids. And these amino acids can be used to build muscle and cell tissue. And they're used in important bodily functions, such as giving cells their structure. However, these excess amino acids can't be stored in the body. So, in the liver, they're converted into fat and carbohydrates for storage. And this involves a process called deamination. A toxic waste product, ammonia, is produced in this process. Ammonia is then immediately converted into urea, which is a less toxic substance, and this happens in the liver. So here in the liver, ammonia is converted into urea. This urea is then transported to the kidneys, and once it reaches the kidneys, it's filtered out of the blood and excreted out of the body in urine. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.